My name is Adam Voss. I'm a traveler, an entertainer, and I'm a marketing geek on the hunt for cool brands. I've got less than 12 minutes to tell you about their story. This is 12 for 12. Since its start in 2014, Shinesty's brand has been all about clothes that like to party. Their mission is to provide customers with the most outlandish collection of clothing the world has ever seen. With outlandish partying on the menu, who better to accompany me than my friend, co-host, and life coach, Joe Wagner? I come from a long line of, of hard partiers. Joe was the inventor of the modern American party. Joe wrote the book on partying. We met with CEO and visionary brand bad boy, Chris White, at Shinesty's new massive distribution center in Denver. How did this start as a mission of yours? It started really from, you know, the beginning of my life. I've always worn ridiculous, outrageous clothing, and it's been a part of me. I'm not exactly sure why, but it has. And then it got heightened, obviously, during college. Parties, raging parties. Parties, yes, indeed. Uh, today, I was not sold. I thought it was just, you know, more blah, blah marketing, more, you know, eye candy or whatever. But then as soon as I saw the products, I just knew that they were 100% legit. So at what point did taking this thing and creating a business come to play? At one point during grad school, towards the end, I got a piece of advice that was like, hey, if you really want to heighten your chances of success, do something where what you're really good at crosses over with what you really love. And as ridiculous as it sounded, like what we really loved was like socializing, partying, events, meeting people, dressing ridiculous. And so that was kind of the impetus for the entire company was, hey, let's create a place where we can provide people with a ridiculous assortment of clothing for all these social events in their lives. Through a mutual friend, Chris was fortunate enough to meet fellow party lover and recovering retail marketing consultant, Jens Nicolason. Chris is like an absolute visionary for this brand. Do you remember his initial pitch? It was basically like, hey, I wanna sell these ridiculous clothes. I think we could do it with a brand like this. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, this is exactly what I would wanna do. Did you have to be pushed? I mean, as somebody that has such a business background and to like say, let's go to the line, let's cross the line, let's take our trousers down on the line, and then let's defecate. I don't think I ever would have gone there on my own, but once you like have the vision, you're like, oh, hell yeah, I get this. And then after that, let's see if we can find and curate some existing brands from other, either other industries or other countries that aren't in the U.S. yet and started selling it online, started doing really well. We've expanded a ton on that concept since the beginning. Your decision to uh, take the reins on the storytelling, on the marketing, well, how did that come about? Uh, I believe Chris sent the email. He was like, I'm going to be the CEO. <laughs> You're going to be the CMO but it just made sense. Like I, I love creating content. I love the you know analytics, data and strategy behind it as well. Shinesty really started to blow up by subscribing to a simple formula. Hysterically clever content plus viral social media equals absolutely no apologies. We started in Chris's closet, moved into Jen's garage, moved into a dry storage space, a very, very small one, and are now here in uh, about 25,000 square feet. What do you think the secret of the success is and this ride that you've had since you started in 2014? It's 100% authenticity. Like almost 100% of people who work at Shinesty have modeled for Shinesty. So if you see the shots, those are the people who work on the brand. At what point did you and Jen start saying, we are onto something? It was really like hearing people's reaction and seeing people's comments on Facebook or on Instagram and which were either, this is hilarious and the most amazing thing I've ever seen, or this is stupid and ugly and I hate this. And seeing that was really like the light bulb moment where we're like, oh wow, I think, I think we're onto something. 
At the end of the day, all we're trying to do is make people laugh. And at the same time, to make some people laugh, you're gonna piss some people off. So sometimes you don't know who you are until you know who you absolutely, like, absolutely are not appealing to, right? right. I think I might have been reflecting on Adam's kind of his clothing style. I normally just kind of am casual, but I just felt so buttoned up. Is there anything we could do to help him break out of his just formulaic personality? We could start with all that clothing he's wearing. This is good orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's coming out of his shell. When Joe drank the unfiltered IPA he called orange juice, I knew that he was on track. I was back, I was with Shinesy 100%. Relaxed and now thoroughly lubricated, Joe's affinity for male modeling started to shine on. When I put on snake skin, I feel like my body is a giant muscle. I feel strong. I feel this release, this weight off my shoulders since I've changed out of my stuffy clothes that my mom bought me. Oh, bummer. Yeah. Why aren't these suits being mandated as corporate apparel for the majority of the country? You know, it's a question I ask myself pretty much every day. It's just the, an attention-grabbing piece of clothing is what we like to say. It turns heads, it gives people more confidence than they thought they could ever have. China Steel is scaling, and scaling is a marketing word, Joe. You should look it up. But like I'm you're... scaling right now. <laughs> Did you design all this apparel? So I do everything from the actual design of the clothing to what prints go on it. Wow. What is the Jito, and how did it find life on this planet? It was my first project coming to Shinesty, so I photographed some denim and slapped it on a Speedo. And who would have thought that we would sell thousands every single year? We wrapped up our meeting with Allie and decided to put our new look to the ultimate test. Happy Hour in Boulder with Team Shinesty. The ability to make people forget their day-to-day -day trials and tribulations and just cut loose. And, and that's the power of the party. Ladies and gentlemen of Shinesty, I'd like to propose a toast to all of you. We salute you. You can tuck it in. <laughs> tuck it in! <laughs> oh, all I want is something to wear a holiday suit, a chinchilla suit, or maybe a grizzly bear. Shine us, Shine on, everybody, shine on! Give yourself a round It's like staring at the sun. You know it's burning a hole in your retina but yet you stare deeper and longer until the light blinds you with this awesome power. Adam was a party animal. What percentage of your underpants are Shinus the underpants? 100%. Like, like I told you, I was a boxer subscriber before I got the job. I personally, like as a fan, it's the best marketing I've ever seen in my life. I want to do a 12 for 12 suit. We should all be wild. Uh, if not every day, but at least once a week. Saturdays. With a night of partying under our belts, it was time to see if Shinesty's ski suits could evoke the same sort of shenanigans on the slopes. <laughs> we went skiing today with the crew from Shinesty. We got the suits on, we're going down the mountain. You guys ready? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Today on the slopes, Adam was a rhinoceros. He came down like an American eagle. Not, not a bald eagle, a golden eagle. All right, take it wise and wide, Adam. Use the whole slope. On the slopes today, I barely made it down both times. <laughs> now, I mean, if it wasn't for Team Shinesty, who are all magnificent skiers and, and, and Joe, I, I don't think I would have made it down or had the confidence to make it down. Yeah, Adam, lead the way. 
Really good. Really good turns. <laughs> Golden Eagle. A psychedelic ski suit. Uh, I feel like it increased my skiing ability tenfold. The number of people, as a beginner, who, who gave me props for wearing the suits, I mean, it was like generosity coupons just got thrown my way. That's great. Is that a typical phenomenon? It's a byproduct of kind of outrageous clothing, and especially something on a mountain that is a throwback to the retro days of the 80s. Shaughnessy is an incredible beast, um, and Chris and Jens have done a really terrific job curating the people, curating the growth, uh, but it hasn't all been easy. I mean, it's been, it's been a lot of hard work, and those guys work harder than everybody. We don't take anything seriously. The only thing we take seriously is making people take life not too seriously. So we just try to make everybody laugh, have fun. If we can give you one laugh a day, we've done our job. Being part of a startup too, and, and this startup in particular, everyone gets to make a splash. We like weird things, we have fun, and that's part of why it's so special. Dynasty! Shinesty, Shinesty is more than outlandish Shinesty. clothes that like to party. What? It's about embracing the ridiculous with confidence, audacity, and honesty. Life isn't easy, but the clothes we choose to wear can make it a lot more fun. Yeah. Stay weird and shine on.